Hi guys, I want to show everybody a, uh, it's not really a new CNC kit, but it is a uh, version of the Weiss 30, which is the same mill as a PM30, but uh, in fact the original PM30s that uh, Matt sold from Precision Matthews was these parts, and then um, he quit selling them for a couple years. And then he came back with the uh, PM30 again, but they did change a few things. So for right now, um, there is a few differences. The uh, European, uh, Germany, and uh, other places are still um, getting the Weiss 30. And uh, so the X plates are like this now. And this is the X plates for the PM30 so they're different sized and uh, the same thing for the motor mount side nice big thick plate they're actually really I gotta use big hunks of metal to do these the uh, Z plates are actually identical on the two mills so there's no change there and the uh, nut holders are the same now the Y mount is a four bolt. So if you're wondering which mill you have, if it has four bolts on the Y mount, then you have the European version. So I'm going to take this one apart. If you order NEMA 34 mounts, you're going to get an adapter plate. Um, I can cut this back on the back side. If, uh, like my next customer, uh, cut out the Y to get more travel. And that'll, I can cut that about an inch more. Um, and so you'll have an adapter piece on the bearing mount. It'll have the four holes for your adapter plate if you're doing NEMA 34. And then if you're doing uh, NEMA 23 or NEMA 24, I can make them kind of custom order. There is one advantage if you go to the NEMA, let's just say you put a clear path on there. If you do a clear path servo, the Y slide, you can cut it a little bit more and it will slide past your motor. For the Weiss 30 size mills, most of your larger NEMA 24s are perfectly acceptable. So you got an adapter piece on here. This was really kind of a pain to do because you got this custom little piece here that fits because you have your four bolt main and your NEMA bolts can't fit on here, your NEMA 23, 24, they're in the way. And so uh, you have to run the adapter plate. Whereas this is the uh, PM30 two bolt main. And you got a little bit of recess you have to do, but I can fit both, both patterns. It's actually one solid piece, it always has been. Um, now this pattern here, NEMA 23 and NEMA 24 are different. And uh, so I can pit one in for one or the other for the uh, for the PM30. I make them mostly custom. And so sometimes I'll have NEMA 23s on the shelf. Sometimes it's NEMA 24. The 60 millimeter of uh, 640 uh, DMM servo. It is a NEMA 23 face or 24 face. So if you have a NEMA 24, you're planning to run on DMM servos, and it's the same thing. So um, that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, assemble it all with all the ball screws, and then I'll do uh, a quick summary of that. Hi, guys. So this is the uh, Weiss 30 CNC kit, and uh, this will be mostly for the international buyers, people in uh, Germany. i got a guy in Norway. Um, the main difference is, is the uh, Weiss, the Z-axis is the same, but the uh, X and the Y are different. So the um, X has a much bigger plate with uh, four bolts, and the Y has a four-bolt pattern, which you can see right there. So now this one has the heavy-duty Z, and it is a 25 millimeter ball screw. Now it's a double nut. And I redo all the double nuts 
on this one just like all my CNC kits and so they're all nice and tight and there's no backlash or less than one thousandths backlash most of the time um, I use angular contact bearings and everything with adjustable preload then you get the nice 40 millimeter couplers and then they'll be made to fit like this one here he's using the 86 millimeter basically um, these aren't DM DMM servos but they're probably the same kind so uh, DMM makes an 86 millimeter metric servo then an 80, uh, 86 millimeter in which is NEMA so um, I can actually accommodate all those kind of mounts so and the same on the Y this one has a Y mount adapter for a uh, 86 millimeter uh, servo but you can also run the uh, NEMA 34 mounts which are pretty much more common and then also NEMA 23 stepper motors and NEMA 24 steppers and servos and that goes along with the uh, X plate which I forgot to grab so um, we're going to grab the X plate too So here's the X-plate, the X-assembly, and it has the bearing underneath that goes underneath the table, the bearing support on the X-axis. And it's the same thing as with the other ones, which is you have an adapter plate there. Ooh, here's the focus again. Come on, dude. You have the... Uh, adapter plate now that one's for 80, 86 millimeter servos one could be NEMA 23 now there is one thing with the uh, Weiss mills is they offer a long table and a short table the standard kit is going to be for the long table uh, it's a 33 inch table though they're actually metric and the older Weisses, the kit that I'll be putting on next week, actually has a 700 millimeter table. And then the one that they currently have listed on their webpage is 730 millimeters. So for right now, depending on uh, what kits you have, um, I don't have the shorter screws. I have to make them. And I can do that, but uh, eventually I'll stock the most common ones if this kit proves to be popular. So um, that's it. And now the standard kit will come with all, all 20 millimeter screws. This one has a 25 because that's what he wanted. And I will offer um, the 25 millimeter for um, any of the uh, uh, Weiss 30 kits. I also have the 25 millimeter kit available for, for the Precision Matthews PM30. And it's not on the website yet. It will be as soon as uh, my brother gets to be feeling better. He's been in the hospital for a while. So uh, when he gets around to it, we're going to add the uh, PM30 Heavy Duty Z for people that want the 25 millimeter. So the head isn't extremely heavy on the on the uh, PM30. So, but uh, people like the the larger Z screws. So I have them in stock, and that's it. So this is the uh, PM30 slash Weiss. 30 slash busy b 30 there's probably 10 different names that they sell them on so that's it thanks guys